What's up guys, we're in the shop today. We just did some uh, basic Land Rover maintenance and addressed a couple of issues that's been going on. Uh, there's plenty more, don't worry. We didn't fix everything and I don't think we ever will. Other than the Land Rover, today we're working on the Unimod. Um, I'm gonna kinda just show you guys what's going on. I'm gonna show you guys what's going on and kinda walk you through and just give you a tour of it. Um, We've been waiting on parts for the past two years. Um, two years ago, believe it or not, we ordered wheels from Stazworks, double B lock 20 inch custom wheels, and they just got shipped out yesterday. Two years, but John from Stazworks pulled it off. Um, two years in the making, two years, we've just been waiting and waiting and waiting and this project's just been sidelined, but it's finally here. Parts are on the way from Wisconsin, and we're going to pretty much bring you guys along for the ride. Uh, we've been sitting on 54-inch Mickey Thompson tires. They were not easy to move, um, but we got them, and they're just waiting to get put on this Unimog. I can't wait to show you guys, but for now, I'm going to give you guys a tour um, and basically show you guys what I've done so far and what this Unimog is supposed to be. And uh, yeah, let's get started. But real quick, before we get started, if you guys are interested in buying one of these Three Creeks Backcountry off-road recovery sweatshirts, go to threecreeksbackcountry.com. We got sweatshirts, t-shirts, koozies, and stickers. Um, yeah, if you wanna support our business and, and look great doing it, order yourself one of these. Personally, I recommend this sweatshirt. Uh, they also come in black and gray. Um, but yeah, threecreeksbackcountry.com. They're 100% cotton, super comfortable, super easy to wear, super easy to get dirty. I mean, I I got stain, I already got oil stains all over this thing. I don't care. Order one, threecreeksbackcountry.com. All right, back to the Unimog. This is the Unimog. That is Remy, and he's not happy. So this, this is our 1980 Unimog 406. Okay, it doesn't run. We have no idea what's wrong with it because quite frankly, well, we haven't really worked on it a whole lot. It's got a straight six naturally aspirated diesel engine. It's not turboed. Um, yeah, this used to be a construction vehicle, 474 Case Unimog. So Case actually bought Unimogs and used them. They brought them over to the United States used them for construction and whatnot. But yeah, this is it. It's super bare bones. I'll bring you over to the other side. There we go. So this is driver's side. Yeah, right now, let's see here. Yeah, that's the, that's a big starter right there. Woo! Yeah, it's got 23,000 miles on the clock. To be honest, I don't even know how to drive this thing. It's never ran in front of me. Um, I don't, it's turned over, but that's it. Um, all of the electronics are chewed through. We got a whole mess of stuff to work through. It's got a whole bunch of levers. I got to figure out pretty much everything about it. Looks like it worked in Arizona at some point. But yeah, this is the Mog. She's got a long way to go. I'm sure you guys are wondering what this giant cage is for and what we got going on on the back here. Looks like a tour vehicle. Well, if you're thinking it looks like a tour vehicle, you're right. We actually have a special use permit through the Forest Service to run Unimog tours up and down a certain trail in the Deschutes National Forest. And the plan was to operate this thing two years ago, but we've just been waiting on wheels. Um, I know wheels don't seem that important. Um, you know, we have those wheels. Why can't we use them? Well, this is why. We have 54 inch Mickey Thompson tires that we need to fit on this Unimog. And we can't do that with those stock wheels. And we want to run double bead locks too. We need the correct offset unless we want to run 
three inch spacers, which we don't, we had to order custom wheels. So that's exactly what we did. And they're finally on the way. We built these uh, custom, custom toolboxes here. That's how they're gonna work here. And uh, yeah, they're gonna be, they're gonna have struts on the inside here. And everything's pretty much built. We're just waiting for these wheels. <laughs> I'm gonna keep on coming back to that. But yeah, let me, uh, let me bring you guys inside this cage so you can get a first person view and see what's really going on. Now, I haven't cleaned this thing since we moved it. Oh, there we go. So yeah, this, this cage isn't fully welded yet. It is most of the way, um, but not fully welded yet. Um, it will be in a couple weeks. But yeah, this is what the inside looks like. We have everything um, sewed up and ready to go. We have all the, the foam for the seats, all the canvas, everything's ready to go. We're just waiting to do some final welds uh, so that we can paint this thing and pretty much get going. This is gonna be the spare tire carrier. We pretty much built it halfway because we realized we couldn't finish it without the tire mounted on the wheel to get all the proper measurements because we're gonna have that tire sitting flush, plumb up against this thing because these are 400 pound tires. 400 pounds each, so we need we need these fittings to be as tight and as close as possible. But yeah, this is what the Unimog is gonna be like, pretty much. It can fit nine people in the back here comfortably. Um, plenty of headspace, which is why it's a little bit taller than you would expect a normal roll cage to be. Um, it's all DOM, so it's, it's strong stuff. So yeah, um, it's all DOM tubing uh, welded by me. Um, I'm not the best welder, but I sure ain't the worst. I can definitely glue pieces of steel together. Um, I TIG and I MIG. Uh, still have to learn how to stick, but just haven't had the need for it. But I'm probably going to be doing that in the future with uh, the portable welder that we're going to be getting. But anyway, this is the this is the Unimog. Um, it doesn't run, doesn't drive, doesn't currently have tires on it. Um, doesn't have a spare tire carrier currently. Doesn't have wheel wells. I still need to make the wheel wells, but I had to wait for the wheels to do that. Um, but it's going to be going and it's going to be moving fast because once we get those wheels, it's basically all hands on deck, which is two, my two hands, all hands on deck to get this thing going. Um, we do have an operational permit through the Forest Service and we want to use it. We've had this permit for two years now and we've just been waiting on Stazworks to come through and they, they just really haven't, um, but they finally did. So yeah, um, let me think of a couple more things. Yeah, I'll show you guys the, oh yeah, I'll show you guys the portal axles. Unimogs, if you don't know, they're Mercedes-Benz, made by Mercedes-Benz. They have portal axles, which means they have planetary gears at the end of the axles that actually pick the axle up. Um, and so your differential is actually sitting about four <laughs> inches higher than your standard diff, which puts them at a huge advantage uh, off-road wise. You know, your diff is usually the lowest point on your rig. And so for portal axles, your differential sits four inches higher. That's absolutely huge in snow. Um, I can't wait to drive this thing. Can't wait to share you guys uh, the experience and building it, trying to put it together. Maybe we'll hop under the hood and I can show you the electrical nightmare that we have to deal with too. Yeah, let's go do that. Yeah, boy. All right, guys, so here is the engine bay. This is what we're dealing with here. Radiator, boom, engine right here. Like I said, this thing has never ran for me. I picked it up and uh, yeah, there are a whirlwind of issues. I got this thing in California. Um, mice, basically mice were living all inside this area. This is actually the air intake right here going up to the snorkel. 
Um, so yeah, I took the filter out. I think there, were, yeah, there's a whole mouse nest in the filter and you can still see kind of remnants of the mouse nest, but they chewed through everything. They chewed through everything and we're gonna get to, we're gonna get to deal with that over the next couple weeks. For sure, it's not gonna be fun. It ain't gonna be pretty. Um, we're probably gonna bypass most of these electrical systems because this thing is ancient and we really don't, all we need are lights, brake lights, glow plugs, and we're good to go, baby. We're good to go. So yeah, we're probably just gonna end up bypassing most of this stuff. And uh, alternator, um, looks like alternator's out. That's the piping for the intake still. Yeah. Looks like 1400 hours on the clock there. Not too bad at all. This is the Unimog guys. You guys have no idea how excited I am for this thing. We're finally gonna get some wheels on it, get some tires on it, get, in, get it looking right. Maybe we'll take it out before we can even get it running. I get so excited. I'm probably gonna get so excited when these 54s are on here. We're just gonna drag this thing out into the woods. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, real quick. I just wanna show you these toolboxes again. Um, they took me a long time to make. They're 96 inches long, eight feet on the dot. Um, everything's already done. All I gotta do is paint them and uh, yep, rivet in the handles and bolt in the struts and they're gonna be good to go. Um, yeah, basically you just open them up, boom, eight foot long toolbox, ready to go. Super excited about these. And let's get underneath so I can show you how thick the steel on this thing is. All right, coming underneath here. Look at that. Guys, that's an inch and a quarter thick steel right there. This thing probably weighs 10,000 pounds if I were to guess. That looks about an inch, inch and a quarter, inch. This thing is no joke. It's another inch right there. Look how, <laughs> look how thick these springs are. This thing is a beast and I would not be surprised if this thing weighs 10,000 pounds or even more. I'm willing to say up to 12. But yeah, I just want to show you guys how thick this is, this thing actually is. You know, I mean, right there, that's, probably three quarters of an inch thick. And the, the actual frame here looks like maybe three eighths. The frame in there easily half inch. Yeah, this thing is a beast. And uh, yeah, this thing is, is just a beast. These things are no joke. This is a truck for sure. And also there's PTO, PTO connections. So if I do want to run anything, um, I do have the connectors. They're hanging down somewhere over here. But yeah, it has a PTO. So if I want to run hydraulics for whatever, I can. Anyway, that's the end of my guys. Let me go upload this to YouTube. Man, this thing is going to be such a beast. I can't wait to drive this thing down the road with those 54s on here. Shoo. Yeah, so here the Unimog is full side profile. You can see how tall that cage actually is. It's a really tall cage. I do agree with that, but it's so that you can comfortably sit nine people in the back and their heads aren't gonna hit that roll cage. They're gonna be comfortable, plenty of headroom, and you can actually walk around back there. You're gonna be crouching a little bit, but we really, really want it to be as comfortable as possible for anybody um, we want somebody that's 6'3 to be able to sit in there comfortably because um, this thing is going to be running backcountry tours. So, yeah, it's going to be a little bit tall, but once we get those big 54-inch tires on there, whew, everything will even out, and it's going to look like a beast. We still have to build the wheel wells here and run a little bar, run some bar protection from the front and integrate a wheel well for the front there. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm so excited for this Unimog project and I can't wait to show you guys 
Can't wait to mount these 54 inch tires and this thing is gonna come alive, I swear. I hope you guys follow along and see the progression. Um, this is pretty much a dream come true for me. Uh, you know, this is just all my idea and it's the fact that it's finally coming to life. It's been dormant for two years, um, but it's coming back to life is, is epic. And uh, I can't wait to show you guys the work that I'm gonna be putting into it for sure. All right, that's enough of my Unimog rants. Yeah, guys, so that's the plan for the Unimog. Uh, we got a lot of work to do. And you guys are gonna watch me do it. Um, first things first, mount those double bead locks and get the 54 inch tires on here and then go from there. Cause then at least we can look at it and be like, damn. But right now it's just sitting on wheels and it's looking ugly, but we got to get this thing looking pretty to motivate us to deal with those electrical issues for sure. But that's the Unimog guys, portal axled, six cylinder diesel, gonna be a monster. Um, hope you guys stick around and watch all the videos. I'm probably gonna swear a couple times dealing with those wires over there but yeah this thing's gonna be a beast we have a 16,000 pound worn winch industrial worn winch going on this thing um super excited to mount that too but yeah if you ain't getting stuck you ain't trying hard enough get yourself one of these sweatshirts get yourself a koozie or a t-shirt basically anything um support our business we appreciate it for sure and uh, yeah we'll see you guys next time Take it easy.